uh, disaster uh, mitigation or management is not a sole or a one institution show because uh, it has got its so many faces. So different government in gov governmental organizations are participating in mitigating or uh, in alleviating all the problems created in the country. Ethiopia is also being challenged by different kinds of uh, disasters triggered by hazards like flood, drought, landslides, conflict, pests, land, landslides, and etc. So in order to mitigate all these uh, kinds of disasters, the government has taken some steps. Uh, the first one is uh, it has issued a national policy on disaster risk management. Uh, so this uh, policy, even though it is in the draft stage, it will be approved very soon, but it is uh, draft stage. This policy has got uh, different elements, main elements, like uh, the policy give emphasis on multi-sectoral approach. It's also multi-hazard approach because Ethiopia is challenged not only by drought or flood, but various kinds of disasters. So this policy gives emphasis on multi-hazard approach. The other thing is um, uh, among the core principles of the policy is uh, the decentralization approach, uh, because the government is, is uh, interested to implement the disaster risk management activities starting from the national level downward at lower level through the government structure. So, so that uh, community can also take part in these uh, activities. The other principle is uh, the community participatory. It's a community centered approach whereby communities can can take part or can play a very crucial role in especially alleviating the problem which are occurring in that particular uh, area. Uh, following this uh, policy, at currently uh, we have we could be able to achieve in uh, preparing the disaster risk management strategic program in the investment framework. Uh, through which we are going to implement some of the major objectives of the policy. So in that uh, strategic uh, investment framework, we have given a room for the climate change adaptation and DRR approach, so that uh, we can integrate all kinds of uh, disaster risk management or mitigation approach in all, uh, in all relevant sectors. We have um, a good institutional arrangement at national level, even though the, the, national, the national platform or the coordination mechanisms at lower level is, that is, a, is not as, such, as strong as, as national level. But uh, at national level, we have uh, different forums, national platforms, where we can meet uh, every month to exchange different kinds of uh, information, especially with regard to the risk reduction and disaster um, disaster risk reduction activities. So that uh, we, we, we are just, uh, the government is, is able just to mitigate all, all kinds of uh, activities. Uh, w in addition to that, uh, we have regular forums where, we, where different humanitarian partners and government agencies meet at a task force level. Okay. Uh, for example, when you take the, the, the main national platform, which is uh, occurring in the country or which is in place uh, is a disaster risk management technical working group. This committee uh, represents different donors, NGOs, uh, UN agencies and governmental organizations. During our meeting we discuss all uh, activities or all humanitarian activities occurring in the country as well as uh, disaster risk uh, reduction activities so that uh, we will have some inputs as to how we are going to implement uh, in coordinated and integrated manner. Okay. Following these uh, national platforms, uh, as I told you before, uh, efforts are being exerted by the humanitarian partners as well as the, by the government to replicate this kind of forums, national platforms, at lower level. Okay. At the moment, uh, we could be able to uh, put in place a regional level. In fact, we call our administrative regions we call uh, administrative regions, then uh, at uh, zonal level, then Warada level. That can be that can be seen as district level. 
So uh, the efforts is, is being exerted even to, to replicate the same kind of structure, starting from the national up to the uh, district level. Excellent. So we can say uh, our coordination and partnership mechanism uh, is, is, is good at, at the moment. The, the ACRA project is uh, organized in our organization, Disaster Risk Management in Food Security Sector. Uh, as I told you, this organization is mandated or responsible in coordinating all kinds of uh, disaster risk management activities, including the DRR and climate change adaptation. So, uh, recognizing this uh, fact, uh, this ACRA project was housed in our organization, and uh, for the last uh, two years, uh, ACRA is, is, uh, has been exerting its maximum effort even to implement or to aware the climate change adaptation activities uh, throughout the country. At the moment, uh, the ACRA project uh, has been able to implement in two regional states of the country, uh, in uh, Romia region and Afa region. So by taking these two regions, uh, it has already conducted the research, research projects uh, together with the Bahardar University. So uh, the capacity building efforts which are being made by ACRA uh, is a very uh, good one and we have ben benefited a lot. I think this kind of initiative, especially by ACRA, should also be uh, extended or scaled up to other regions and districts as well. Uh, even though uh, there are some um, gray areas where we should also uh, give emphasis uh, I think the need for expansion or scaling up to other regions and other district is very crucial. Um, if you see our policy, the disaster risk management policy, it gives emphasis on research, research-based intervention. So ACRA, that, uh, especially the research made by ACRA will give us, I think, uh, a, a very good clue as to how we are going to do all kinds of uh, disaster risk uh, activities in a research base together with the academic uh, institution. So the efforts that has been started by ACRA will even help us in scaling up or in further propagating uh, the, the activities in some other uh, regions as well as in some project as well. We have different projects in our organizations that deal with uh, disaster risk uh, reduction. So the, the capacity building efforts being exerted by ACRA and other project as well, and also the, the familiarization of uh, climate change adaptation uh, efforts uh, made by ACRA will definitely be uh, very uh, beneficial, beneficial activities uh, in our organization as well as in the country.